blockchain and its impact on the developing nations. In this video, I will take a step back and look at how blockchain can help developing countries improve in areas such as democracy, supply chain management, immunization, and cryptocurrency as a replacement to the local fiat currency. If you're interested in blockchain and want to know how this technology can improve the lives of people living in developing countries, then this video is definitely for you. Hopefully with this video you will understand why I'm so passionate about the technology and why I believe it will improve many people's lives. Since I do not want to waste your time, I will post timestamps to the key parts in this video in the description below. The main reason why I say blockchain technology can change the world is because it has a huge potential to improve the economy of developing nations such as India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nigeria and many other countries that are densely populated with populations soaring as high as 2 billion people. Even though the penetration of blockchain technology in the developed countries such as US, Australia, Switzerland and Japan is still very low, it is way more than that of developing countries. In my opinion, developing nations can benefit from blockchain technology the most compared to developed nations. I want to break down the direct impacts of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency on the developing economies of the world. Elections Elections are a vital element in a democracy. There have been many cases where the election numbers have been rigged, ballots stolen or lost by the government dictator or even manipulated by another country. The best way to secure a transparent and secure election is to implement blockchain technology in the election process by choosing a verification process where voters can consume a media that has been stamped with a unique cryptographic identifier. Now this would prevent, for example, fake news. Furthermore, the distributed blockchain ledger can store data in a secure way that allows the vote of each voter to be tokenized and encoded with his or her biometrical information. This information is then recorded on the blockchain by using zero-knowledge proof. It is possible to know that the data is correct without knowing what is in the data. Blockchain technology can also help the voters become the auditors to audit his or her own ballot to confirm the total votes. Some of the countries that have tried blockchain are for example Sierra Leone and Estonia. A secure and fair election which has not been manipulated is what many developing countries need direly. With better leaders the country will hopefully benefit on many levels such as less corruption, better economy and better guidance. Agriculture. Many developing nations have a big portion of their GDP from the agriculture sector. One of the main reasons that farmers in the developing nations have a hard time is the lack of proper infrastructure for them to sell their crops to the right buyer. Simply said, supply chain management. It is difficult for the buyers and sellers, for example farmers and middlemen, to trace where the crops go in the market. You might wonder why that is important and you can imagine this. Farmer Bob is a very good farmer. He uses legal pesticides to grow his crop. Farmer Fred uses many different illegal pesticides and chemicals to grow his crop a lot faster. At the moment, very often these two types of crop get mixed together and no one knows who is at fault. The good farmer Bob gets the short end of the stick as his crop is not worth as much. With the help of blockchain technology, farmers and buyers get to know the status of the crop from the time of the seed plantation to the delivering of the crop. In a nutshell, with the help of blockchain technology, the process is simplified in just a single distributed ledger, thus saving money to all the stakeholders. For a developing nation that is heavily dependent on agriculture, the implementation of blockchain indeed makes a huge impact on their economy. Immunization. There are many deadly diseases spreading across developing nations. Therefore, it is crucial to keep track of the vaccines available in those regions. Now, according to a report by RNS Wallace, the mean vaccine wastage rate in Nigeria is around 18 to 35%, which is terrible. Blockchain technology can help in identifying who owns what, where and when the vaccine is in the supply chain. All this information can be tracked in real time Vaccines are first stored in small containers which are identified using QR codes and the tracking is done by an internet connected device that helps the users to know the exact location of the vaccine and the temperature. For the final step of vaccination is confirmed by inputting the biometric 
information of patients onto the blockchain, which gives the most precise and accurate figure of vaccine coverage as compared to previously used methods. This helps in further vaccine campaigns, market research and statistics. A country which not only deals with diseases but also with the lack of vaccines due to poor supply chain management, the implementation of blockchain technology can indeed impact the health of the population and thus impact the economy in a positive way. Alternate source of fiat currency. The depreciation of the domestic currencies against the world's leading currencies such as US dollar, euro and Swiss francs makes the citizens of developing countries worry a lot about the continued loss of value of their local currency. A very sad example is the hyperinflation which is currently happening in Venezuela. Based on the IMF records, in 2018 annual inflation rate reached 929,000 and is expected to reach 10 million percent by the end of 2019. According to the World Economic Outlook report, Venezuela high inflation rate of 10 million percent is the highest in the world. The reason for such failures of the domestic currencies can be attributed to the bad economic and fiscal policies adopted by the very own government. Hopefully with the help of blockchain-based cryptocurrency, the people of the developing nations get an alternative way to buy products and services within their country. Cryptocurrency remittance payments have increased by a large percentage. Venezuela has recorded a massive increase in trading volume on local bitcoins in 2019. The value of cryptocurrencies doesn't depend on the fiscal and economic policy of the government or for that matter any centralized authority in the world, depending of course which cryptocurrency you look at. These were some of the ways for which blockchain technology can impact the developing nations. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of video then feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.